Good morning, everybody. Mike Bakke, PrincetonTrader.com, here for NTMarkets.com with your Tuesday morning pre-market webcast. Okay, uh, S&P, E-mini, uh, daily chart, and again, the bands represented by the two beige lines are incredibly tight. The bandwidth is about 1.52. That rivals where we were here in January before that moved down. Now, don't don't say, oh, well, they're tight, so we're going to go down. That's not the right way to think about it. You have to think about bands in terms of compression and expansion. The bands are tight; they're going to they're they're going to expand. Tight expansion, tight little bit of expansion, tight expansion, tightening up again. Sometimes they go up, sometimes they go down. What are they going to do this time? Well, I don't know for sure, but I do know two things. Number one, the Bears had a chance yesterday to follow through. And we talk about the Bears' opportunities and then the next day their inability to follow through on opportunities. It has been the prevailing theme of this webcast for the last two years. I mean, I've been doing this now for about three, four years, this webcast every morning. The number of times I do this is, you know, it, it, it is really indicative of the overall uptrend in this market. The bears have a have a distinct inability to follow through. That showed through yesterday. Traded below middle band, lost middle band, tried to trade below it again, back up above, took out yesterday's high. So we have traded in the globex, we traded as high as 77.75. What we need to see today is how do the bulls react to another morning dip? We, we should get another dip in the morning. We've been getting them every morning. We got one yesterday. Uh, yesterday uh, we went as low as 60.75, which was nice because 61 was our proprietary lower level. Uh, that let the gave the room plenty of notice to go ahead and get in. And um, I am still long 63. I've taken profits along the way, but I've still got a trade working from 63. And I'm going to hold that trade and trade around it and keep it until the bears demonstrate to me that they can close, not trade below, but close below the middle band. If they can't demonstrate that to me, there's no incentive for me as a long to exit that trade. The only thing that would get me to maybe exit the trade, I would probably move. I, I will move my stop up significantly before tomorrow's FOMC. But absent that, if the bears can't get below middle band, then we've seen this routine before, time and time again during the course of the uptrend. We will go make new highs. So as a person who is long 63, as a room, our room is long 63. Why would our room exit the trade? We've taken profits. It's a profitable trade. We've got our stop in profit. I'm, I'm saying this because that's the mentality of the dip buyer. The bears have got to do something to chase those people, to chase us out of our trade. And until they can close below middle band, we're not interested. And that's what precipitates again and again and again these new highs. So the bears have put themselves right back in the crosshairs. So what am I looking for today? What's the reaction to... Uh, the morning dip. Can the bears create a low below uh, 6775? If they can, if they can convert middle band, which today is 69 half, if they can convert that into resistance, then you can see, you know, buyers start to move out of the market, longs move out of the market, maybe reset themselves a little bit and regroup for potentially a walk up into tomorrow's uh, FOMC meeting. But absent that, the walk-up's already, you know, we're, we're in the walk-up now. So uh, it should be a very, another very interesting day and another day that underlines and underscores and just solidifies the core issue with this entire uptrend, the bear's inability to follow through on downside. All right, have a great day. Follow us on Twitter at Princeton Trader. Check out the website. Come check out the chat room. Uh, we would love to meet you. I think we can help you with your trading. It's a great group of people. And uh, look forward to meeting everybody over in the room. Come take a trial. I'll be back tomorrow morning with another webcast. Trade them well.